Welcome to another special edition of The Property Show, your weekly source on all things property. Today, we take stock on the affordable housing program with an in-depth view of the ongoing Park Road flagship project. My assurance to you is that the allocation will be automated to ensure an inclusive, fair, equitable, accountable, and transparent process. We'll also continue highlighting top promising counties expected to drive the real estate landscape in 2020. The accessory spot brings a blend of decor ideas, infusing a breath of fresh air in our spaces. Thank you for joining me. Sit back and enjoy. We have lined up a packed show. You can also send in your comments and let's interact on our social media handles. As always, there is something for everyone. A conversation that continues to take center stage in the real estate landscape is now a reality. Today, we are taking stock on the affordable housing flagship program. Phase one of this project is finally complete and ready for occupation. Come, let's see what's on offer. First, what stands out for me here is the location. In real estate, the number one rule of thumb is location, location, location. That ticks the box for me. The second box that I tick is ample parking for both residents and visitors. As you can see, there is lots of parking. The third tick is the amenities provided solar, security, water, boundary wall, recreational and social facilities. And finally, when you get into the apartment, the open plan living area offers seamless transition. The kitchen comes with granite countertops and both high and low level cabinets offering enough storage space. We move on to the safe haven of the home, the bedroom. The first bedroom comes with enough wardrobe space for storage and windows allowing in natural light. Finally, the master bedroom is en suite, fitted with wardrobes and a bathroom. Park Road is a flagship project of the government's affordable housing program. The project consists of 1,370 spread over five blocks of one, two, and three bedroom apartments. The apartments come in different sizes. The one bedroom has a plinth area of 30 square meters. Two bedrooms have a plinth area of 40 and 60 square meters. And the three bedrooms have a plinth area of 60 and 80 square meters. The two bedrooms are master en suite and they come with an open plan concept with a living, dining and kitchen area, a common cloakroom, window facing outside for lighting and smooth flow of air in the house and a laundry area. Other amenities include two boreholes for constant supply of water, constant and reliable supply of electricity, a block dedicated for parking, a floor dedicated to commercial spaces, rooftop terraces with sitting areas and a football pitch for recreation. Ground space dedicated to green spaces. If you are looking to be part of the program, 
register either on bomayangu.go.ke platform or through Huduma Centers. I must say, this is an impressive program and a first of its kind. Let's take a look at the highlights of the handover ceremony of phase one. The work that has gone on this structure that is now fully completed, we can say it is technically sound, the speed at which the works have been done, very commendable. And probably these are some of the work ethics we as a people, we need to learn from what we are seeing. The Big Four agenda is on track. Public Works, which has got the biggest consortium of consultants, is supervising all many projects in the three areas of the Big Four agenda. And this is something we are dedicated to do. Even if it has to be done 24-7, we are prepared to do it. As the peers in charge of public works, I'm satisfied with the work that is being done. I have had a chance to visit some other countries and I have seen the resemblance of the affordable housing. This is a high note. This is actually what you can compare in what you are seeing in Kileleshwa because it has got the relevant amenities. I want to assure the uh, peers, uh, housing and urban development that my state department will continue to provide the linguistic support, whether technical or more so that we are able to achieve what is desired within the stipulated time. Once again, Piers, thank you very much and congratulations. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you today as we officially receive the first batch of the flagship housing units under the Affordable Housing Program Initiative. From the onset, allow me to say that this project is significant to us all as it demonstrates the government's commitment to delivering affordable housing, which is one of the big four agenda priorities. The allocation of the housing units for this project has not taken place, but is set to begin in earnest very soon. The purchase allocation policy that will guide this process is complete and will be published imminently across all media platforms. My assurance to you is that the allocation will be automated to ensure an inclusive, fair, equitable, accountable, and transparent process. I also want to emphasize that the sale of the Park Road project will entail all the 1,370 units, which are in various stages of development. The second and third phases of this project will be completed in June and December of this year, respectively flagship projects elsewhere. In addition to the Park Road project, we have other projects in the pipeline on national government land. This includes Starehe and Shaurimoyo projects, which will be breaking ground in the first quarter of this calendar year. To be precise, we are finalizing the evaluation process and the winning bidder will be announced in the coming weeks. This will bring online about 8,000 housing units within the proximity of our CBD. It is important to note that the affordable housing program and especially the ones with substantive number of units are primarily driven by private sector in partnership with government. The government is committed to facilitating and incentivizing them to undertake these housing projects to help us achieve our goals. What are these incentives? 
for both developers and for potential home buyers. As strategic partners, the investors and developers in the housing program will enjoy fast tracking of approvals for their projects. It is estimated that the approval processes alone adds 15% to the cost of our housing developments. They will also enjoy paying corporate tax at 15% as opposed to 30%. And in probably one of the most audacious of all incentives, I'd like to announce that beginning end of this month, there will be no VAT on all affordable housing projects input material. This is a huge, huge achievement for us because VAT in housing is a real cost because you cannot claim it back. So we'd like to thank our president for, for steering at these incentives. And our mandate is to ensure that the benefit the developers are going to get is passed to you as potential homeowners. We need a company which we formalized ourselves to trade with the government because we can't trade as Juakari. That's the policy of the government. They have been very supportive to us. They initiated this project of the affordable housing. So we actually came in board after they had even given the contract. So they actually pushed the Chinese guys to give us the, the components we are supplying. Currently here we are supplying the metal doors, windows, and wooden doors and frames. Our experiencing has been very good. We've learned new techniques of building because we've only been in small groups. Now we've learned how to do bigger things together. We started last year, February, and uh, we are ending this year in uh, December. We, we are working on the Chinese construction company. They, they are friends for us. They have shown so many things. We have learned many things from them. We are hoping also, like Afro, we are going to the China, uh, like me, to be teach so many things because Chinese want to continue to build with them. We are very happy because if not the government of Kenya and the president Uru Kenyatta, we cannot reach there. But now we are there. We are people now. We are not Juakali members anymore. We are the people now, we are paying the tax for the government. We are over 10,000 members. They are all happy. They are working. I think you have seen them working. So they are under me here, but outside from production there, they are under the people. So when the things come here, they are under us here now. This is the first project because we are joint three clusters. That's three in Juakalis. That's Kariubangi, Kamukunj, and Ngong. So we didn't know what to do because we were thinking that we are working separately. No, the government taught us this, guys, because we have come together. Here is only you form one company to procure these jobs because in the, in the laws of the Kenya, you have, you have to be a company which can procure something somewhere, but not association. So we went to battle association, we came together, then we form a company. What we do here, the clusters, where they came from, there they have small workshop. They produce materials you see here. They, first, when the material come here, Chinese have to check. First, we check ourselves from the factories, then we bring here engineers of Chinese, they check. Also, now there is a final checkup, which is me and my boss Chinese. We check, then they are allowed to go and fix. I can tell them who are working at the Juakad. When we go to Shorimo, it's 5,000 uh, houses coming. Eh? So they join hand there with us. Because even here, for 10,000 members, they are not enough. Because now, right now, I have around 200 staffs who are working for, for Juakali sectors here at this project. So the big project like that one, because they have promised us we are going with the Chinese, I think it, um, we need more, more people to work. The government, we have been able to do the work, at, as you have seen today. And we have, we have met the standards, we have met the requirements, and we have succeeded. So we want to say that the Juakari people, not only the three Juakari associations, even the other Juakari associations countrywide, can do this type of work so that PESA in Akuja Machina.
phase two and three of this project are expected to be completed by June and December 2020. I know the next question we are all asking is who is eligible for this apartment? These apartments are built for us Kenyans and all you need to do to be part of this program, register on the Bomayangu portal. That's your first step to home ownership. Keep It Property Show will keep you updated on this project throughout this season. Next, we shift gears and continue a conversation we started last week on top promising counties expected to shift the real estate landscape in 2020. us off on this segment is Nakuru County. This county is strategically located and positioned as a perfect choice for investments. It's also the second preferred holiday destination in Kenya after the coastal region. Here is a highlight of what's available in this blissful county. If you're a visitor in Nakuru County, your number one choice of accommodation places Hotel Waterback on top of the park. Why, you may ask. Location, tick. Customer service, tick. Amenities, tick. Great food, tick. And finally, it's a comfortable home away from home choice. Here is a look. Hotel Waterbark is a five-star hotel located in Nakuru of the Great Rift Valley of Kenya, about 160 kilometers from Nairobi. Our home away from home always strives in providing the best facilities for the customer, ensuring the most comfortable and relaxing stay. Features include conference services, concierge services, cocktail dinners, outside catering, team building, 24-hour business center, food and beverage outlets, swimming pool, gym and decadent health club. Accommodation for the presidential suite, executive suite includes plug and play panels for the LCD flat screen TV, complimentary Wi-Fi internet, personal mini bar in the room, safety deposit box, complimentary coffee making facilities, direct dial international telephone, hair dryers, iron and board, Bathrooms feature a bathtub, a toilet and a rain shower, sitting room with a work area and a separate bedroom, king size bed, non-smoking and two LCD flat screen TVs. interest that has remained a hotspot investment destination is Machakos County. This county offers great investment opportunities with plenty of land available at affordable prices cutting across the rapidly growing Athi River and Siokimao towns. Let's take a look at what's available in this great county. Fairfield Gardens are luxurious four-bedroom townhouses in Siokimao that come with an open-plan concept, creating easy transition to the entire house. One of the things that stand out for me at Fairfield is the design layout, large windows bringing in lots of natural light and beautiful gardens. Let's take a peek.
Fairfield Gardens consists of 70 high-quality townhouses. The estate is set on five acres and each of the four-bedroom unit has a built-up area of 190 square meters all with a DSQ. The project is located in Siokimau, 13 kilometers from Nairobi CBD. Accommodation features include an entrance hallway providing privacy to living spaces and a transition into the house. Spacious living and dining areas with an open plan concept allowing for ease of access to the rest of the house. The large windows and glass doors leading to the garden allows lots of natural light in the living area. A fully assembled kitchen with an island counter and kitchen hood, there is lots of storage space in the top and bottom drawers as well as a kitchen store for additional storage. Utility area with adobe sink and washing machine provision. An ensuite guest room at the lower level for privacy of the guests. A solid mahogany balustrade staircase leading to the upper level of the house. A spacious master ensuite bedroom with a walk-in closet as well as a grand bathroom with a shower cubicle, bathtub, his and her sinks, plus more storage spaces. Spacious third and fourth bedrooms sharing a bathroom with fitted wardrobes. Other features in the development include perimeter wall with electric fencing and 24-hour manned gate for security, a borehole and municipal water supply with an additional 2,000-litre attic domestic water storage, solar water heating systems with an electric controller, two parking slots per house, street lighting and generator for communal areas, a clubhouse, a swimming pool, gymnasium, daycare and playground, community shop and a management office. Moving on, Katani Villas, located just a few minutes off Katani Road. This project offers a convenient lifestyle with a host of diverse amenities at your doorstep. Here we find contemporary units with large windows, top-notch fixtures and a fully fitted kitchen with lots of additional storage spaces. Katani Villas is located along Katani Road off Mombasa Road in Siokimau, approximately 20 kilometers from the CBD. Katani Villas is an ideal gated community consisting of 82 units of four and six bedroom units that cuts across all spheres of prospective homeowners with stylish architectural design for living. Accommodation features include spacious living area with large windows letting in natural light and wood flooring, adding that it factor as well as warmth. Separate spacious dining area with an open plan concept, allowing for ease of access to the rest of the house. Fully fitted kitchen with an oven, hob and extractor, as well as cabinets for storage. Spacious master ensuite bedroom with a walk-in closet as well as grand bathroom with a shower cubicle. A balcony, a guest room on the lower level, a common cloakroom for guests, utility area with adobe sink and washing machine provisions. Other features in the development include perimeter wall with electric fence and 24-hour manned gate for security, borehole and municipal water supply with an additional 2,000 litre attic domestic water storage, solar water heating systems, two parking slots per house and additional parking spaces for guests, cabra paved driveways, generator power backup for communal areas, social hall that will include a swimming pool, gymnasium and community shop.
Another county set to be a hot spot for real estate this year is Kisumu County. This county sits on the largest freshwater body in Africa and the largest inland fishery in the world. These key factors, coupled with the positive economic growth as well as demand for real estate, set this county as a top investment destination. Let's take a tour and see successful projects in the lakeside. If you're in Kisumu, Acacia Premier Hotel should be your home away from home choice. This refined lakeside hotel offers excellent customer service, convenience, serenity, and all the first class amenities you require in a top hotel. Acacia Premier Hotel is a four-star hotel, the best in this region of Western Circuit. We started business in the year 2015, and we primarily focused on the business travelers, the corporate NGOs, and we are doing very well in what we are calling MIC, that's the conferencing, meetings, incentives, conventions, and exhibitions. We started with 300 rooms, packs conference capacity. We doubled it a few months ago, based on demand, and now we are doing 600 packs. So we can do 150 packs times four different meetings. That's 600 packs concurrent in a day. We have a number of food and beverage outlets. Where we are at, I'm sure you are enjoying the amazing views behind me of Lake Victoria. This is Aqua Pool Barn Grill, which is uh, famous in the evenings, particularly because of the breeze and the freshness and the amazing views of Lake Victoria. And here we have continental and intercontinental menu here. We are doing an, an evening Friday Nyama Choma night every Friday. Then we have our all day dining room in the first floor where we do breakfast and you can serve any meal during the day, which is basically an a la carte menu. And we also equally have another bar called Buzz Bar and a coffee lounge at the level one. One of the other most important uh, amenities, we have a uh, gym. It's restricted only to our guests, all paid up members. And we have a spa so that people can enjoy a relaxed treatment in terms of uh, massage. In terms of our standards, in terms of our services, in terms of the general facility upkeep, we raised the bar in the entire hospitality standard in the whole region. I'm told by our guests that indeed we have the best international presidential suit, the only one in the region. This is a facility, a president or a CEO or a regional director will hold a meeting in, in the boardroom. Enjoy a relaxed cup of coffee in the balcony overlooking Lake Victoria and it is on our fifth floor. It has a presidential bodyguard room. It has the best uh, jacuzzi. So this is a facility that comes like a serious international penthouse. taking a short break coming up top promising counties you can put your money on the accessory spot with a blend of the core ideas infusing a breath of fresh air plus inspiring stories on the home ownership segment we'll be right back after the break keep it property show we are back you're watching The Property Show. Last week, we started a conversation on top promising counties 
expected to shift the real estate landscape. We kick off with Mombasa County, earmarked as a top investment hub in 2020. This regional tourism hub, famous for sandy beaches, as well as the port and an international airport. And with the upgrade of the SGR railway line, Mombasa continues to be top of mind investment destination. Let's check out some investments that are winners in this county. Zamia Heights Development, this executive modern apartment is strategically located in Nyali with amazing views of the Indian Ocean. The apartments are ideal for families, rental or holiday homes. Let's take a look. Zamir Heights Apartments is a development consisting of 28, two and three bedroom apartments for sale conveniently located in Nyali. The two bedrooms have a plinth area of 119 square meters and the three bedroom has a plinth area of 159 square meters. Aesthetically designed, the apartments offer breathtaking views of the Indian Ocean, ideal for families, rental or holiday homes. Experience the height of modern living in Samia Heights. Accommodation includes spacious lounge with balcony, dining area, visitor's cloakroom, spacious kitchen with pantry, balcony come utility area, spacious corridor, master bedroom ensuite with a jacuzzi and shower cubicle, first and second bedroom share a common bathroom, inbuilt wardrobes in all bedrooms and a common balcony in the first and second bedroom. Paradise are breathtaking holiday homes surrounded by palatial residential homes, beach hotels, shopping centers with plenty of modern amenities. Let's see what's available in this great project. Sunset Paradise Holiday Homes located off the Mombasa Malindi Highway comprise of 80 apartments of two, three and four bedroom tastefully furnished apartments offering affordable luxury. Accommodation includes spacious lounge opening to the balcony, dining area, kitchen, utility area, two bedrooms share a common bathroom, master bedroom ensuite, built-in wardrobes in all rooms, ensuite detached seven quarter, wrought iron and wide windows for ventilation. Another county expected to shift the real estate landscape in 2020 within the coastal region is Kilifi County. This county has been rated as a top investment destination driven by affordable cost of land and availability of raw materials. One of the projects expected to shift the coast region is Vipingo Development. Awali Estate is a luxurious gated community set within a controlled development. 
The project consists of 74 units of three bedroom bungalows and machinettes plus a DSQ with a plinth area of 155 and 210 square meters consecutively. Amenities include spacious lounge with large sliding glass doors leading to the terraces where you can relax and enjoy the breeze, cloakroom for visitors, a fully fitted kitchen which comes with a microwave, oven, fridge, cooker, hood, as well as top and bottom cabinets for storage, pantry for more storage of kitchen supplies, laundry area. The first and second bedroom on the ground floor are all en suite with large windows letting in natural light as well as cupboards for storage, an en suite DSQ that can be accessed both from the house as well as independently, staircases leading to the upper level, spacious master en suite bedroom with walk-in closet and large sliding glass doors, exquisite finishing with ceramic tiles, internet ready houses, provisions for air conditioning and expansive outdoor terrace. And for golf lovers, Vipingo Ridge is the place for you. This secure gated community offers luxury all the way. That's it. On top counties expected to shift the real estate landscape in 2020. Next week, catch an in-depth highlight on trends to look out for this season. And if you're looking to position your project to potential homeowners, thought leaders, and decision makers, no matter the location, the Property Show is the platform for you. spot with a blend of decor tips infusing a breath of fresh air in our spaces. Creating an elegant ambience in your living space with furniture pieces and house accessories. It's incredible how easily furniture pieces and accessories can redefine living spaces and create comfortable and elegant ambiences. Some of the ways you can achieve this include Selecting tasteful functional designs for your lounge sets that best match the size of space while comfortably catering for numbers. The kitchen occupies a highly visible space in a home and might occasionally need a remodel for a fresh feel and an injection of style and personality. Select a color scheme. Dark accent walls with neutral colors are highly functional for the kitchen. You'll want to choose a color palette that expresses your personal style. Transform worn or damaged laminate countertops with innovative long-lasting marble or granite. Here are nifty ways of making a statement in your bedroom space. Fabrics. Sometimes all you need is the right bit of fabric to make the magic happen in your space. Fabrics on headboards tend to add a subtle charm to your bed and also room. You can use them in different ways and styles. Cover wooden pallets with lush fabrics to create a unique design right on the back of the bed in the room. Chandeliers. These are not only for hallways, living spaces and dining areas, they can also be used in the bedroom too. 
They tend to add a cozy and sophisticated spin to your overall bedroom style. A chandelier's placement creates a functional and decorative element to your room. You can use a chandelier to draw attention to the centerpiece of your room by hanging it centered towards the bed. Balcony. Use print and designs as well as rugs from your indoor space to make it cozier, pile on the textiles, elements made of outdoor fabrics like patterned rugs and plush cushions. This will make your balcony super comfortable. Secondly, create a specific purpose for your balcony. This makes objectives for designing the space clear and easier. If you need it to be a space where you can unwind after a long day, introduce a sofa or an armchair with a set of layering cushions. And remember to make it all-inclusive if you have a pet. Create a space for them too. The accessory spot segment is where we get ideas on how to transform a home with creative decor tips. Our property show signature bus tour is back. The bus tour is the perfect matchmaking platform for home hunters and investors looking to get a platform to assess different opportunities available in the market whilst getting insights from experts across the board. This time round, we'll be exploring different neighborhoods. Book your seat today. Do you have any events you'd like us to highlight this season? This is the segment for you. Just give us a call and we'll be there. Up next, inspiring home ownership stories. Our home ownership started when we got married and uh, we identified a good place we were living in Nairobi along Forest Road and uh, six years down the road we started thinking we need to have our own home and so we started visiting the home expos a lot of that was happening in Nairobi uh, we visited some of our friends who had their own small homes and then we came across one of our friends who had bought a place here we also uh, visited uh, Morera where we had identified a place Morera which is behind the new KU campus and compared Morera with Mebley Estate and we ended up with Mebley Estate Mebley Estate looked a bit organized and the uh, young families like us were here so whenever we came here they were very friendly and always wanted us to come so we ended up feeling like this was the best place for us and so that's how we found ourselves here. We bought our land in 2005 and uh, 100,000 was a lot of money so even if we needed to pay a lot more then that was a mountain but what we did we built our savings so we had already been building savings together my husband and I because I've been working with circles and he had a circle where he works at and so we put our savings together and we were able to raise money to buy the plot and that was it. But when we bought the plot, we stopped at that. At what point did you decide now we can build and this is it? Uh, after buying the plot, we started savings again. As I said, uh, having worked with the circle, so I knew that you can access softer and cheaper loans in the circle. So we started building our savings in the circle individually. After one year, we were able to raise enough and borrowed a loan. He took a loan from his circle, I took a loan from my circle, and we put together our savings. Now that is what helped us start. So in 2006, we started putting up our home. What about selecting the professionals? Uh, well, my husband has a friend who is a contractor, mm -hmm. and he comes from where we come from. And uh, he helped us a lot in uh, looking at what he has done before and comparing what we needed. And so it, for us, it was an easy business because uh, he showed us a few places and a few options, and we picked on one. And so we modified that and came up with our own. Construction has a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. You start today, the costs go up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Did you get into any of those challenges? A lot of those. We thought we could buy like sand in bulk. We thought we could go to the quarry and get our own stones. And so we tried all that, but eventually it was quite expensive. But the contractor had worked with us, so every time we wanted to buy something, 
prices, especially for cement, they kept going up. So it was not easy for us, but we kept saying that we are going to make it, we are going to make it. And because we did not do it like in one month or one year, so we did it progressively. We were able to raise funds for each and every step that we needed to do. About my home, the one thing I love is the comfort that it gives you, the satisfaction that it, it gives you, that when you come back home in the evening, you know where you are sleeping, where you are. No one is going to ask you for rent. It is your place. Your children can be proud to say this is our home. And I really love that. There's a satisfaction that comes with it. And uh, a home, and especially to ladies, we are told that houses belong to ladies. It gives even marriage some bedrock, some very strong foundation, because there's that which you own as a family. So there's a lot of satisfaction that comes with it. What I would say is that you have to decide today, or you have to decide now, if you want to live in your own home or what you want. You have to act on life, or life acts on you. Even if you don't decide, either way life will still decide for you. So one has to decide where do I want to be with my family five years, ten years to come. So choose that which is convenient for you and within your means. If you can afford the mortgage, get the mortgage. If you can go the home construction route, go the home construction route. If you can join hands with like-minded people, by all means, join those hands. So that at the end of it all, Whatever you decide, as long as you pursue it and you know where you are headed, it will come to pass. Home ownership leads us to exciting parts. My shoot location is one of them. The affordable housing flagship project is now a reality. And guess what? This is a good place you could call home. Register on the Bomayango portal. Thank you for watching The Property Show. And that's it for today's edition on top counties expected to drive the real estate landscape this year. Next week, we continue the affordable housing conversation, highlighting civil servants' houses ready for occupation. Plus the ABCs on turning your plot into a dream home with our tanky budget solution which comes with all professionals you need across the spectrum. See you next Sunday. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri!